Hello all, welcome back to the next part of our NGRX series. So far, we have completed the Angular 19 project setup with NGRX library. And since we are working on standalone components, we can see the provide store and provide effects entries in the app.config.ts file. And if you are working on a module based Angular project or one that doesn't use standalone components, you will typically find these two functions in appmodule.ts file instead of appconfig.ts file. And these provide store and provide effects are functions used to configure the ngrx store and effects in an Angular application. Especially, provide store is used to register reducers with the ngrx store. It takes an object with reducer functions as a values where each key represents a slice of the application state and provide effects is used to register effects with the ngrx store and effects are also functions that handle side effects such as api calls or other asynchronous operations okay so in this section we will understand how to register reducer inside provide store function we will explore this with an example soon but before that Let's add an essential Chrome extension that will enable us to properly debug and track state changes in our application. And for that, you need to search for Redux DevTools on the Chrome browser and click on the first link. Then you just need to click on this Add to Chrome button. Then click on Add Extension. And once you add this extension, you can see the another button, Remove from Chrome. Now, after this step, navigate to the localhost 4200 where our application is running. Here, open the developer tool and click on this double arrow symbol to find the Redux tab. So, from here, you can navigate to the Redux tab. And as of now, no store is available in the app because we haven't set up the store yet. So, in order to debug the application in Redux Dev Tool, we need to install another library called ngrx store dev tools so let me go back to visual studio code editor and before installation let me show you the ngrx folder from node modules here you can see that inside ngrx folder only two packages are installed so far ngrx effects and ngrx store now let's open the new terminal and install ngrx store dev tool and to install ngrx store dev tools, we need to use command npm install at the rate ngrx slash store hyphen dev tools hyphen hyphen c. You can also use command ng add instead of npm install. Okay, so this time I'll go with npm install. And once you press enter, it will take a moment to install the library locally on your system. Okay, so here you can see added one package and also we can confirm this in ngrx folder where we now see three packages effects store and store dev tools and also if I navigate to package.json file here also you can find all three packages effects store and store dev tools. Now next Let's configure the store dev tools in appconfig.ts file similar to provide store and provide effects. So here I'll add provide store dev tools. And we need to import it from ngrx store dev tools. Import provide store dev tools from at the rate ngrx slash store dev tools now inside provide store dev tools here we can add various properties to customize its behavior according to the ngrx documentation if i open ngrx.io get started and here go inside developer tools and click on ngrx store dev tools and here inside instrumentation section you can find all the properties such as max age, log only, auto pause, name, monitor, and more. So for detail on each property, kindly refer this documentation. And note that all properties in the provide store dev tools object are optional. 
so for now i'll configure provide store dev tools with max age and log only so i'll copy these two properties and paste it inside app config.ts file under provide store dev tools i'll shift f format the document and save the changes so here max age property determines the maximum number of actions stored in the history tree it set to a number greater than 1 or we can set it false for infinite okay so i'll go with 25 and once this 25 limit is reached older actions are removed from the history tree and log only is a boolean that defaults to false and when set to false the extensions full features are enabled now let's check the application the redux dev tools should appear with the tabs like action state trace etc which means we have successfully set up redux dev tools and this is an important tool for state debugging now next let's try to populate this dev tools with a sample state and to do this we will create an interface for a list of employees and define its initial values in a reducer so inside visual studio code editor i'll create a new folder under app folder called state and inside this folder i'll create two files store.ts for the interface and emp.reducer.ts for the reducer and make sure that for the interface you need to use the .ts extension and for the reducer file you need to use the .reducer.ts extension now in the store.ts file i'll define an export and interface export interface interface name i store and inside curly brackets i'll add four properties id of type number then name of type string then username of type again string and last email of type string now next in the emp.reducer.ts file first i'll define and export the initial state called initial state so export constant initial state of type read only array and inside triangular brackets i'll pass the created interface that is i store and once you press enter the import statement will get add automatically equals to square brackets now inside this array we can add the objects so first i'll add one employee object with properties id one name alex username again alex and last email alex at gmail dot com okay so this is our first employee object now i'll duplicate it two more times to demonstrate multiple data points i'll change the id Two and three. Okay, so we have added the dummy data inside this initial state. Now we need to pass this initial state through a reducer, and to handle the initial data, we need to create a reducer using the create reducer function. So after this array, let's export a new reducer. Export constant reducer name. I'll write emp reducer. equals to create reducer in order to create reducer we need to use create reducer function and inside this round brackets we need to pass the initial state once you provide the brackets here you can see we need to pass the initial state so inside bracket i'll pass the initial state where we have added three objects in an array okay so this is the code we have to write inside reducer file first we have created initial state and added dummy data inside that and then with the help of create reducer function we are passing the initial state now after doing this if i check the redux dev tool i won't see the data yet and to make the application state visible we need to register the reducer so the last step is to register this emp reducer 
and we can do this in app.config.ts file by adding the reducer to the provide store configuration with key value pair where key is the state name for example employee or employees colon value is the reducer name that is emp reducer click on this emp reducer so that it will import from state folder okay so employees is the key and emp reducer is the reducer name you can provide any key as per your wish but the reducer name should be match with this reducer name okay so this was our last step that is a reducer registration now if i revisit the browser we can see the list of employees under the state tab and the data is nested under the state name we specified when registering the reducer which in this case is employees here we have specifies employees if i specify the emp then we can see the data under the state name emp okay control z employees and the data is rendered under the employee state name and since we have added three employee objects one two three we can see them in a single array okay so to recap we have set up the redux dev tools and rendered the me data in the state for that we have created an i store interface then added the me data inside the initial state and then passed it to a reducer and last to render data in dev tools we have registered the reducer using the provide store function in app config.ts file so with this we have covered the basics of application state including how to pass data to a reducer and register it and that's all for now let's meet again in the next video where we will explore the actual example of ngrx step by step using the ngrx principles action reducer store and select so kindly consider subscribing to support me and stay updated thank you for your time bye bye